I'm Krishna. So I'm a consultant neurologist, uh, which is a senior doctor who specializes in brain and nerve diseases. And so typically that might involve diseases such as uh, migraines, um, you know, people with headaches, uh, or people with numbness or weakness, um, or people with blackouts. So it's probably a bit of a cliche, but um, it really is very satisfying to see patients who have some symptom or some problem that's uh, significantly affecting their lives and uh, to actually be able to make a difference to either cure it or uh, to minimize it um, with uh, different treatments you know, with medicines or with surgery or with procedures um, so for example one, one, one patient i saw uh, was an elderly man who had double vision and a droopy eyelid and um, couldn't see clearly i wasn't able to drive anymore uh, and uh, diagnosed the condition that was affecting the muscles controlling his eye movements and gave him tablets and uh, within a few days uh, his double vision cleared up so he could read again and he could drive again um, so, so it brings about a big functional improvement in his symptoms it's, it's very satisfying to be able to do that uh, equally satisfying is also teaching and uh, that's a big interest of mine so I teach medical students or uh, doctors in training or nurses um, or physiotherapists we do like to be organized and methodical and um, partly because of the structure of the brain and the nerves uh, we like to sort of it's, it's like detective work we like to narrow down and pinpoint where a disease could be um, in the network that is our brain and nerves one example would be if someone had a uh, blackout and i'm trying to work out what caused that then i'd be asking the patient of course what happened before and after what they were doing uh, but then i'd also be keen to talk to an eyewitness I'd be keen to chat to paramedics, to A&E staff, to other doctors um, and look through their whole medical history and try and piece together all these different aspects and get different you know, accounts of what happened. Uh, and then I'll come to a conclusion. I focused on sciences for A-level, so I did chemistry, maths and physics. After that, I applied for Imperial College School of Medicine uh, in London. And my attraction to that particular course was that it was a six year degree which incorporated further research. So, a year of research where we obtain a, um, an additional um, science degree. And mine was in neuroscience. So, after medical school, the pathway was quite long for me. So, I spent uh, 13 years in training. Um, and this involved a lot of shift work. So, a lot of night shifts, a lot of weekend shifts. And we experienced different specialties. I, took a year out to go to Australia. Um, I was working as a doctor in Sydney. Uh, that was an amazing experience. And it's just great to be in a different country, learn about a different healthcare system. Uh, I also did a PhD in epilepsy genetics. If you enjoy talking to people and if you enjoy helping people, then I think uh, medicine is um, the, the best career out there.